Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Creatives Conversation. I'm so excited. My name is Gabby, Gabriella Marte. I am the director here at Helps Too, who's putting this on. And who are you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Your best friend? I'm just kidding. I'm Amber. I'm the brand manager <laughs> here at Helps Too. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah best I don't friend. know what else to say. One of my favorites, I will say that. I don't I have think... best friends. I don't do that. Wow. Yeah. On camera. I don't. That's cool. I mean, not really. I'm just playing. You, you are one of my favorites. So we're so excited. If you're not familiar with the Creatives Conversation, we love to just bring a bunch of creatives to the table, whether it's us or others, guests, whatever. And we like to talk about what we're going through, how to get through things, how to financially sustain your craft, how to reach people, and how to grow. And that's just what we do. So what are we talking about today? Today we are talking about why your social media isn't growing. Yes, and we are filming this for the second time, and the first time I said, why your social media sucks. <laughs> that's true. She did say that. I and I said, it sucks. I guess that's not proper to say, but... Uh, and I don't, I don't know if I'm... To be honest, I don't know if I like this one, to be honest, because your face just completely changed at me. Well, slow down. Free, cut me with your eyes. You don't like what? Because... <laughs> Social media has been up and down for me. So mm. for those of you who don't know, I say this every podcast. So forgive me if you watch or listen to on all of the outlets, every podcast, because I say it every time because I just don't know who's watching, right? Like, yeah, have new could people. be a different person. Yeah. yeah. So I not only direct the marketing company here, it helps too, but I also have been doing music for like ten over years, 10 years. Yeah. So the journey, I mean, when I first started music, there was no Instagram. I mean, YouTube was barely beginning. I might be dating myself. And then <laughs> Facebook was barely beginning. Mm. And She's MySpace old, was still around. And really so old. She's that was really the old, big y'all. daddy. MySpace was the big daddy. And if y'all don't know what MySpace says, Google it. I mean, it really was the big daddy. I don't think it was the first social media network, but it was like one of the first. Yeah. And it was like the biggest one of the mm. first, I guess you could say. And so I was doing that. And I really feel like I had MySpace figured out. Mm. I started to do like ancient history lesson here. But I really did. I had MySpace figured out. I even learned how to code. That's yeah. how I got started in all this marketing stuff because I learned how to code my MySpace page. That's crazy. In college, I should have been studying and my friends would catch me sleeping and they look at my computer screen as coding my MySpace page. I'm not kidding. It was like rainbow color. And yeah. All this stuff. MySpace was kind of like a blog that you could design individually, similar to Tumblr because Tumblr is still around. I mean, it wasn't a blog though. It was like... Well, true. It was legitimately more like Facebook than tumblr i'd say yeah but it was more customizable like totally. you could have your song yeah. like yeah. your favorite songs on your myspace page you, you could, could have yeah. see i know a little i didn't have okay. one but i was around <laughs> generation are you generation z technically oh god Te- i'm the first year of gen z i'm 97 <laughs> just kidding i love gen so z. i don't really feel like i, I fit kick gen it z. with the gen zers i'm sure not a gen zer mm-hmm. i just found out first judging. of all random aside that like skinny jeans aren't in anymore yeah and like the gen middle Zers part versus declared. the side part yeah leave us a message if i'm crazy but gen zers i've heard through the grapevine have declared skinny <laughs> jeans are out and i grew up with skinny jeans and they're so. they're coming for the side part i'm like listen y'all do you, you have a side part i do because i relate more with millennials i'm technically gen z but like really i love like, my gen z years i do the middle part all day Let's yeah go. well but they're <laughs> yeah, the well. gen z years are saying it's not cool anymore to have a side part and i'm like listen when i was like seven yeah i had a middle part because it was cool then but you know what it's not cool now well so i'm sticking with my side part gen z and you have a side part. I think you're a great fit, a good balance for those people who are tuning in who feel like they don't know how to grow their social media or it's stagnant. Because I feel like, to be honest, a lot of Gen Zers get it. Yeah. To be honest. I mean, TikTok, Instagram. I'm well, watching Gen Zers all the time yeah. crush it. Like, not to be like, it's an age thing. Because I'm watching millennials no. crush it too. Right. But I, I mean, I the Gen Zers that Gen get Z it, Gen Z grew it up mind. more with it. And so that's Their methods where- are... I mean, I don't want to say, I don't want to make this an age battle, but like a lot of Gen Zers that I watched, like I was watching one last night, uh-huh. we're also housemates right now, <laughs> um, on our TV, and she went from 5,000 followers on Instagram to like 50K, and she has this whole methodology, and she's Gen Z all the way, and I yeah. was like, I've never heard it like this. Mm-hmm. I was mind blown, mm-hmm. and I do this for a living, so <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. so explain to me, what are your thoughts? Like, let's say I come to you, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people do come to us, actually. Uh, we do con- consultation all the time. So it's true. someone comes to you, I am in need. I have, let's just say 
I don't know. Let's say I'm an illustrator. Okay. I'm trying to sell myself on Etsy. Mm-hmm. Like you. You're, she's an illustrator. And she should be selling her stuff on Etsy. Leave her some uh, bombs in the comments and tell her to get started for me. Thank you. <laughs> but let's say I'm you and I approach you. Uh-huh. And I'm like, hey, I can't get my social media to grow. I'm primarily on Instagram mm-hmm. and I don't know. Let's say Pinterest. What should I do? Sure. Well, if I were taking any creative on as a client, the first thing I would say is, Pay you've me. already picked it out, but I would <laughs> no, say, just what'd you say? <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> That is true. If I was taking you Here's on as my a client, feet. the kidding. first thing I would say is, do you have money? Because I don't work for free. But <laughs> after we establish that. Um, <laughs> we sure don't. I'm telling you, I'm done working for free. I work for yeah. free for far too long. But you Pay can get dues. a free consultation. Link below. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people are going to love this or they're going to hate us for this, but I'm sorry. It's, it's just, just the truth. truth. Yeah. We don't work for free, but we'll talk to you for free. We so. will help you, though. Mm-hmm. We love you. We yeah. do. So, um... I would first, you know, ask you, you know, what networks do you want to be on? And Mm -hmm. depending on what you do, I would suggest different networks. And so, you know, for us being a marketing team, it's great that we're on YouTube because we have a lot of tips to give out. We have a lot to say about different topics. And so longer videos is definitely our avenue. But like if you're an illustrator, you're not very likely making long videos or like videos at all. Um, By the way, long videos are better for YouTube because YouTube favors long videos. It keeps people on their site longer and therefore they're going to promote it more naturally and you'll get what more views. What is a long video? Five minutes or longer. So mm. our videos that, are for like the sake of those an watching, hour long listening. because they're podcasts. But, you know, even if you are trying to get started and you can't make an hour long podcast to start, you know, a five minute video versus a three minute is going to do better. Little tip. It's the truth. Mm-hmm. It's the truth. The sad it is. truth. The hard truth. Yes, but it's true. And so you know, the first thing is pick your networks. And if you're picking Instagram as an illustrator, which I would say is a good, is a good one because Instagram is primarily pictures. And as an artist, you're putting out pictures. Right. Um, after that, I would say, okay, Wait, can so we pause because I just like, I'm devil's advocate all the way and I do not associate with the devil, but like, I like <laughs> to stir it up. You know, if I'm listening, I'm like, okay, that's great. Like I pick some social media networks. Like mm-hmm. how? How? Like, Like, could you Mm. give, like, a quick rundown of, like, what works for what? Like, Yes, I can. I can help, for (laughs) sure. But, like, can we help these people out? That's why they're watching and listening. Right. Yeah. No, I I actually recently, like, wrote all this out because I was teaching this to our interns. So, (laughs) it's fresh. Yeah. (laughs) I should know because they're technically my interns, too. But but you really took the charge of that. Um, (laughs) Yeah. So, um, you definitely want to do your own research. But I would say if you're trying to reach, like... It does kind of get into ages. We were talking about ages earlier. Yeah, and it, do- and, it does. And demographics. Yeah, yeah, demographics. To be honest, in yeah. specific generations, like different networks. Yeah. And so, if you're trying to reach um, boomers and you know that generation, you know that would be like, I don't know how old they are anymore. Dang, boomers. Boomers. <laughs> boomer. Okay, boomer. No. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't checked the social media like demographic ages mm-hmm. in a while. But like, you know, Facebook is the older. You're going to say Facebook, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facebook, Facebook w- tends to have older Would be where the boomers people. are. But right. also Instagram is kind of like, there's older people that are flocking to Instagram. And when we yeah. say older, we're talking like, Facebook is probably like generationally like mid thirties, if that, mm-hmm. to like 65, 75 right. years yeah. old. So you got to think of like things that pe- those people are interested in, like right. gardening, um, well, art, a lot of like, things. They're, inter- they, you know, that's they're interested true. in a we're, lot of things. I am not 35 and I am on Facebook and I was on (laughs) Facebook. I'm younger than 35. I'm 31. If we're going to be honest here. And I was on Facebook when it first came out and it was Mm -hmm. only for colleges. So I would say even like just thirties and up is Facebook. Yeah. That's generally true. Everybody else sees it as the LinkedIn of 2021. Right. That's what I asked a high schooler. I was like, are you on Facebook? They said only because it's like LinkedIn. Yeah. I said, finding jobs. You can do everything on Facebook now though. Facebook dating. Facebook (laughs) market. First of all, I feel busted out. I'm not even, I don't know. Should I comment on that? No, we'll let it go. Okay, thank you. Facebook dating is a thing. There's, you know, you can literally like apply for jobs on Facebook I did date on Facebook and I think it's okay. (laughs) She had to say something. They already know. You already saw (laughs) it. I just said Facebook dating. I didn't say, I didn't say Gabrielle Marte has been on Facebook dating. There are quality people, ladies and gentlemen, that date. 
on the internet. That's true. You must vet, right? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like going to Ross and now looking for shoes. Now we're dating advice um, I mean, podcast. it really just is. I just wanted to say, it's like going to Ross and looking for shoes. There's mm-hmm. going to be some that suck and some that are amazing. That's true. I found Steve Madden at Ross, you know? And so I just want to say, you know, Facebook is yeah. like the Ross of dating. You're going to just <laughs> find Ross. a lot of shoes that Ross from are not Friends great. or Ross the store? Ross the store. <laughs> I know. The shopping outlet. <laughs> But I, I found Steve Madden shoes in Ross. Yeah. And I found There's gyms the out Steve there. Steve Madden of men Don't lose on hope. Facebook. Okay. This is our new podcast. Facebook, our dating we bless column. you. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Can we get on with this? Okay. Yes. Sorry, I was it's trying to, but. <laughs> it's my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, and so, you know, there's a lot happening on Facebook, but generally, and I'm always speaking generally when I'm talking about these things, for sure, it's, um, boomers and like that kind of generation. So if that's your target audience, that's who you want to reach with what you're doing, then absolutely. Like I suggest Facebook be your number one primary. And I just heard today, um, HubSpot put out and HubSpot's a CRM. Sorry, now I'm getting super nerd on you. So if you don't know that, it's like customer relationship management, um, cloudware that a lot of big business businesses use not even just big but businesses in general to keep all the information in one and do all the marketing through long story short they sent an email today or a blog and it was really about how facebook is still the number one network in terms of how much time hmm. people spend on it i believe it so, because facebook is very eclectic you yeah. can have whole videos like as long as you want yeah. i think i don't think youtube there's even number a limit. two for the amount of time that users right. are spending time yeah so so yeah. I think Facebook has really gone more into videos, people sharing a lot of videos and For sure. stuff like that. But yeah. yeah, I can see that. And so, yeah. you know, um, Facebook is great if you're trying to reach um, older, not older, sorry, boomers. <laughs> um, sorry, older, boomers. like 30 and up. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. I would say generally. It's uh-huh. a general number. Yeah, of course, someone 12 is going to be on Facebook. Of just course. how it is. Yeah. So, yeah. They're still so out there. General. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, and so if you're trying to reach more millennials and even Gen Z, I would suggest Instagram. Um, I think that's where most of my friends are, and I'm 23, I think, you know. Would you really say that? Yeah. In terms of Gen Z, what do they use more? Like, okay, so Snapchat is a thing. I don't know how many Snapchat's times for the millennial generation. I think every time I went on a date, if we're going to talk about dating, I think people always ask me for my Snapchat. I agree. And I was like, yo, I don't use Snapchat. Yeah. I just personally don't like it. Yeah. That's my own personal, it has no bearing on age or sure. anything. I just don't yeah. like it. Same. Because I'm just a, an artist and more visual and I think that's just, it's not visually appealing to me. Snapchat. Yeah. No, I agree. But it's fun. Whatever. I'm not in it for fun. I'm in it for visuals. So, <laughs> but I, I want to ask you as a Gen Zer, do you think that Gen Zers use TikTok more or... Instagram. You're asking the wrong Gen Z. No, but if you look I'm at your friends, I'm barely a Gen Z. If you look at your friends, my friends, y'all are my Gen age, Z. Instagram. Really? Or were you asking TikTok or Snapchat? No, TikTok or Instagram. Yeah, Instagram for sure. Okay. I think they a lot of them use TikTok in the sense of like they like to watch TikToks. Like, mm. and I'm kind of like I'm not. The, but they don't really I'm participate. Not the, yeah, I was gonna say I'm not the example because I'm not even on TikTok to be honest. That's not really my cup of tea. But I think most of my friends don't even like upload to TikTok or post anything on TikTok. I think so interesting. Yeah, but, but you, I'm in a weird. You're not when you ask that question. I know you're question, not a general survey of Gen Z. Well, and I get it. because I'm in like that weird gap that's between generations. So yeah. I would consider myself to relate more to millennials and my friends okay. too because okay. I don't really hang out with people who are like act more like Gen Zers because I think Gen Zers I think they were raised like iPads were already a thing when they were born and that's not the case when I was born like I remember when the iPhone came out you know mm. and so I feel like I wasn't as involved with social like screens and social media and all that um okay. growing that's up fair. as like the average Gen Z because fair. Gen Z extends all the way out to like I don't know what like 2000 I don't know 10, I will maybe? say if you're trying to reach kids yeah like TikTok is incredible and like, youtube yeah like i have friends who have kids that are mm-hmm. my age right not kids my age but friends that are my age that mm-hmm. have kids right and i'm literally at the dinner table with them and their kid is on tiktok giggling i'm yeah. like can we put it away <laughs> okay i'm here not to respect i'm just wow. kidding i don't do that but i am kind of like what is so fascinating i'm yeah. like i want to see it too and yeah so, no yeah. it is it is popular for definitely like gen z and younger and um even millennials are into it now. I know a lot of millennials that love to watch TikTok. I just don't know as many that are making TikToks. 
Um, but that's just me. So everyone's different. Yeah. But that's yeah. just what I've younger observed. Younger kids are like, and I'm when I say younger kids, I'd say like 18. Right. And uh, 18 is not a kid per se. Sorry if you're 18 and you're watching. <laughs> but like, yeah, 18 and younger yeah. are on TikTok for sure. Oh, yeah, like, definitely. Okay. I just yeah. don't know a lot of people in that age group personally because you're asking me as a Gen Z, but I'm like, well. Top of, top of Gen Z. Yeah. That's a song. Like literally the first year that it was Gen Z is my year. So. Okay, that's fair. Um, yeah. So what about Pinterest? So we talked about Facebook. We did Instagram. Mm-hmm. Instagram's great for pictures, video, yeah. all that. So if um, if we're having this theoretical client that wants to c- come to us and I'm making their strategy, I would say Instagram. Okay. And I would say that for a lot of creatives, to be honest, you know, yeah, because now Instagram is a lot more diverse than it used to be. Mm-hmm. It used to be just photos, but now, you know, you're a musician, so your videos are longer than a minute. And yeah. Instagram for the longest time didn't even Wouldn't have video as an option. Any uploads yeah, and then when it finally did allow video, it was only one minute. And so now there's IGTV, there's Reels, you have options. Yeah. And I think that's where a lot of people are. And so I would pretty much say most creatives, a really good place to be right now is Instagram. And, you know, if you're trying to go for the younger generation, definitely TikTok. Okay. So. And then Pinterest, does it matter or no? I've never used Pinterest for a client. I personally. know Grace on our team, mm-hmm. on the Helps Two team. She is an author. Mm-hmm. She uses the heck out of Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, and it works. People find her stuff. Yeah, I would say Pinterest works more like a, a search engine. It Definitely. is a search engine. Yeah, um, you know Google's number one. I think mm-hmm. YouTube is two or three. Pinterest yeah. is like probably top five for sure. Yeah. Um. So if you have something that you feel like people who browse Pinterest might right. find. Yeah. I think it's worth Yeah, I there. actually this is like nobody and really Pinterest knows is highly this. women. Yeah, that's true. And the women are decision makers in their mm-hmm. household. That's when it true. Comes to so Pinterest. they're the so, purchasers. Yeah. You know? so, so if you're trying to sell a lot of things for sale are mm-hmm. on Pinterest. That's true. Graphically. Appealing. And so this is like a little like nobody actually knows this about me, I don't think. But like oh. when I was like 15 I had my own blog where I just shared like all like it was a WordPress blog and I just shared like random stuff about my life and Uh most of it was like recipes that I tried and like modified and made my own because I loved to like bake and like make different coffee recipes and all this stuff and so because I'm not really you know that much Gen Z because if I was I probably would have just had a TikTok but no I had my WordPress blog and I thought it was cool but you I would pin. Artist, so it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, I just like to be different. But um, I would pin the recipes that I would try, like that I would make with like the full recipe in in the post on Pinterest. And some of them, if they were like things that people really wanted to make, would get tons of repins and a wow. ton of traction to my blog. So like I made like a copycat Starbucks drink and like my blog got so much um attention after that because i pinned it on pinterest and people were repinning it like crazy wow so that's like if you're you know if you're doing something that people are really going to look for recipe wise or like i go on pinterest a lot to find um art inspiration and so if you're a a graphic artist and you want people to find your art you know home purchasing inspiration like that kind of stuff Yeah, that's pretty cool or like Mm -hmm. wedding stuff definitely like girls that are planning their weddings somebody was like do you have a wedding board no i don't have a (laughs) wedding board i'm trying to work no i'm just kidding Uh, well (laughs) i'm just kidding no i use i low-key i do have a wedding board i just like (laughs) haven't added to it in like seven years sure so it's like not stuff you care about anymore (laughs) i mean i think i would still care about the pens that i pen to my board good to know okay yeah but um Nothing, yeah. nothing else. So, yeah, it's really good for, like, I feel like if you have an Etsy and you're trying to sell artsy stuff, Ooh, yeah, it's a Etsy. lot of women. So, like, I feel like a lot of the stuff I see on Pinterest is linked to Etsy shops. And so if you're, you know, trying to get your Etsy shop going, Pinterest is pretty legit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think that's dope. Okay, so you'd pick your, your social media network first, mm-hmm. and then what's the next step? Like, okay, that's great. I, I chose Instagram and yeah. I, YouTube. Yeah. Boom. So then you- We didn't say anything about YouTube. YouTube's for everyone. YouTube is for everyone. <laughs> really, like low honestly, key. I, yeah. somebody was like this fifty-year-old man the other day was like in my normal everyday thing. Uh-huh. He was like, "Yeah, I saw this tutorial on YouTube, and I figured it out like from that." And I was like, "Cool." <laughs> Everybody, so, yeah, everybody's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Cool. My mom uses YouTube. Like it's like the new TV. Oh yeah, to be honest, it's, so, yeah. Most can... people don't have like cable anymore. They just have YouTube and their streaming services, but which yeah. is good to know because uh, I think we're gonna get into this probably later. So maybe I'm jumping the gun, but like. YouTube is kind of like the new TV, or they're trying mm-hmm. to be at least. And I think the reality is, is if you cannot post like you are a TV show, like not every night, but like keep up a regular scheduling, right. you probably Weekly. won't do too yeah. well in terms of growing. That's so, true. Even yeah. though it's great if you need to put a video up and have it hosted somewhere, like YouTube's yeah. perfect for that. So 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's the next step? Yeah. So once you've picked your networks, you're going to want to start to plan your content. And so okay. obviously no matter what you're using, like you've probably, if you've listened to anything from Help Suit or followed us on any network, you know that we preach consistency. Like yeah. you need to be uploading to social media, I would say almost daily. Like we're at five to six times a week right now at Help Suit and like that's been getting us more engagement. So I would definitely say you need to be uploading f- very frequently. And um, in order to keep up with that, you're going to need to plan your content. And so first of all, what will you be posting? Like, that's what I would sit down with a client. Like, okay, what do you actually want to share? Like, if you're a graphic designer and you want to post every single day, it might be kind of hard to post a graphic that you created every single day. For sure. Or a musician, hard Mm -hmm. to post a music video. A music video every every single day. That's, like, intense. I know personally it's really tough. That's true. Yeah. And so there's a lot of options. You know, if you're on Instagram, like we said, you know, theoretically, this client – then you have video as an option. You have photos as an option. You know, you can always go create like a little image to share. Like, cause if you're sharing a photo of yourself and then also like a graphic photo, those are two different things. And so, you know, yeah. um, we kind of, it helps to alternate between video, photo, video, graphic. Like that is kind of our pattern. If you follow us, you might notice, um, and so that just like keeps I didn't know it. that, and I work here. So, <laughs> well, amen. Yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, okay, cool. But yeah, so like if you uh, just continue to stick with that, you know, with what you decide, and just like really make sure you're planning it. It will take some time if you're doing it independently. You know, if you want to not have to do it independently, you can always talk to us and hire us to do it for you. But <laughs> shameless, <laughs> all the plugs, ruthless um, plug. <laughs> Well, you know, but, uh, if you, you know, if you are doing it yourself, you're going to need to definitely set some time aside to take care of that and to make sure that, you know, you're uploading consistently and that you have something to upload every day or every few days or whatever. Okay. Can I stop you? Mm -hmm. If I didn't do this, I would be overwhelmed by that thought of like, I got to post every Every day. day. Like, what do I do? Like, how do I even approach that? Well, when I, when I started managing accounts at helps too, I didn't realize that I, we would need to post every day. And that was like, whoa, like, Like, I don't know how to come up with something over my phone and be like, yeah, well, so I would say, um, you can obviously a great first step is to do a little research and not necessarily like Googling it, but just go find somebody that you admire on Instagram. Some, somebody who's got an account that's going really well, mm. you know, whoever it is in your industry maybe and see what they're doing. Are they posting, you know, a bunch of just photos of their art or are they doing right. some behind the scenes? Are they doing some, you know, progress pics? Are they doing some, you know, videos of their painting process? Yeah. And don't um, just look at what they do. I think, I think mm-hmm. you should look at what they do that works. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it might not work for you. That's the hard thing. That's it's true. Like, I look at people you can try a lot and of done things. what they do that works and it doesn't work for me. But I think another thing on that tip mm-hmm. is to start posting consistently and look mm-hmm. at what works for you. Yeah. Like what you just know, like it doesn't matter if you only have a hundred followers right. or five million followers like Mm -hmm. you know when you post something compared to the rest of the posts that you've done Mm -hmm. what works better what gains traction yeah and and i know personally like or not personally i know for you as marte Mm. um the musician when you yes (laughs) when you share photos of yourself you've talked about this all the time when you share photos of yourself and of your everyday life it gets a lot of engagement i hate it like (laughs) i'm here to to sing for you guys right just kidding no i mean i don't hate it but like yeah it's not what i expected and that's just the reality of humans humans want to know you they want to know you know um, but it's not just the selfies life. that are like goofy and I'm looking average. Like people love like these like pictures where I look like super well done and like yeah. modely. And that's, I mean, it is what it is, but that's this is the industry <laughs> I signed up for too. So yeah. I got to kind of get yeah. it together. But, but yeah. I think no matter what industry you're in, it's important that your face is out there. I agree. Not all the time. You don't need to like always be posting yourself, but at least have yourself out there so people know who's behind what they're making. Well, yeah, because social media is social. Exactly. And like to be social, you have to be human. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. an animal. <laughs> and a lot of like accounts, I find myself that if there's ever accounts that I follow that are mostly just like 
the thing that they do, like pictures of, you know, the here's the tables I build, here's right. the yeah. cartoons I illustrate, here's the whatever. I find myself scrolling through their accounts and trying to find a picture of the actual person if they don't have it, you know, really? obviously in their feed. Oh, yeah. Actually, I do the same thing. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I, do the same thing. I always, yeah. like I did it the other day. I found this cartoon artist that I loved and I was like scrolling forever. Like, I want to know find, what you look like. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to find a picture of their face and I just was like frustrated. I was like, I don't even know who this person is and I like really like their art, but I don't know. Them. who's behind it yeah. yeah and i want yeah. to it's a natural desire to want to feel connected to that artist to that you know creative whoever yeah. it is and yeah. so i would say even if you know you think i'm just here to post my art i'm just here to post my music like try just try just sharing try. i'm just here to post yourself. about my business yeah yeah i think when it does become more about business you have to kind of there's a fine line between oh, yeah. posting <laughs> about what you ate for dinner right. and then posting a picture of you behind the scenes like stacking your shirts that you screen printed yeah totally different i think you got to kind of stick with personal pictures that like tie into the business definitely then it starts getting weird you know what yeah. I mean? so um, I will say as, uh, Marty, the musician, when I schedule my social media, which I do actually mm-hmm. not through a scheduler, which we do for, right. Soup, Shout out to buffer buffer. And, <laughs> and that's amazing. And yeah. so like, you don't have to sit by your phone every day. And right. Post it. I yeah. actually post mine, you know, but I do like plan them. Mm-hmm. Um, because I think the day gets so busy and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like I'm freaking out. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. So I sit down like every Sunday night and just like plan it and I'll do one I'll, I'll do two music videos, like not music videos per se, but like videos of like live music mm-hmm. or like music. So, cause I'm a musician. So I, me in action, two videos, two posts of me in action. And then, um, and I post about five, six times a week. And then cause consistency, it really helps people to engage and it shows your yeah. content more. The algorithm, I hate talking about the algorithms, but they favor that. They're real. Yeah. So, and then I'll do. Two lifestyle photos mm-hmm. of me, which is like me kind of like, <laughs> I hate this. I really hate this. But like pictures of me in like, I don't know. What are lifestyle photos? Like kind of, they're not model pictures per se, but like they're kind of like posed. Like, yeah. Post pictures. People like it. I don't know why, but they do. And it's just yeah. like a trend on Instagram. They love it. People mm-hmm. love it. We, we all love it. So, like, not your average photo, but, like, a photo that's a little more posed and mm-hmm. thought out and mm-hmm. whatever, portrait mode on the iPhone, all, the, all this stuff. Yeah. I'll do two of those, and one will have a caption, like, of a life update, and one will be a caption of, like, what God is doing. Because mm-hmm. I'm all about God and music, and people mm-hmm. know that. And then, you know, a fifth one, I will tie it back to the company. Helps, too, because yeah. that's my baby, and they know it. And then <laughs> a sixth one is just kind of open for, like, whatever. Like, yeah. probably another music thing. So. Mm-hmm. This, like, theme of, like, okay, it's simple. It's music and it's Marte. It's music and it's Marte. Mm-hmm. And Marte loves God. And Marte has, gives life updates. And she has this company. But, like, yeah. there's music. Lots of music. Yeah. And so, yeah, I try to stick with that. And it's been working really well. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, though, if, if we're being honest, and I, I don't like to – I think so many people – I mean, I'm just going to be honest and just be real. So many people online and influencers and whatever, they sell this pipe dream that you're going to, like – figure out there's some system that's going to get you 50,000 followers tomorrow or like in Not three unless months. they're fake. <laughs> it happens for some people. It really does. Like yeah. I was watching the fastest girl in the world, right? That she just ran the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Like literally like she went from 750,000 followers. I love watching these numbers. I don't know why it just intrigues me to like over a million in a night because it right. happened. She went viral. That's right. Like a valid. You can go viral. That does happen. It happens. It's not the it's, majority. It's an, very small percentage, yeah. like 2% or something like that, mm-hmm. of people in the world go viral. Mm-hmm. Um, you might actually, like I've seen people that have gone from 5,000 to 50,000. They really found their niche and they hit it hard and people engaged with it quick and it, it was crazy. That's true. But like, that's just not the majority. Right. And so I just want to like say like, if you aren't growing super fast, whatever that looks like to you, first of all, like what does that mean? You know, like helps too, right? Like we don't have a huge social media following right now. The goal is to one day get there. Mm -hmm. We have (laughs) neglected our own marketing for so long. That's true. Because we have been so busy doing everyone else's. Doing clients. But are we making money? Absolutely. Are we making good money? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, and it has like you being successful at what you're doing. And Mm -hmm. I think people need to hear this has, is not directly correlated to people following you online. That's true. And let's just say someone following you, like a big population of people following you online is not directly correlated to you being successful and making money. A lot of people have followers and they're not making any money. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have followers and they're still struggling to pay their rent. And so I just want to bring up that correlation. Like what is important to you? And I know Mm -hmm. clout is really important to people nowadays. I get it. I deal with it. You know? Yeah. At the end of the day though, 
we're making money. And so, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's not like affecting my rent. My clout is not right. affecting my rent. And so right. for some people, their industry is only clout. And so like you have to be an, to be a model like on Instagram or whatever until you make it big. Like until Vogue is paying you, like mm-hmm. y- you have to figure out some way to get right. there. And it might be only social media clout. And so mm-hmm. I just encourage people. Sometimes it just takes time. Yeah. Like for my YouTube as a musician, oh, you saw me. No yeah. big advertising budget. We were like, we're going to test this out organically. I've been on YouTube for like 10 years, but I haven't been consistent with it. Mm-hmm. And so we got consistent, what, two and a half years ago? Yeah. Two and a half years ago, right? And you started filming videos with me before yeah. we found Andre. Actually, three years ago. Like, three years ago. Yeah. In the summer. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not kidding. Okay, three yeah, years. Yeah, that's when we filmed Will- Waymaker was three months ago. Oh, my Or gosh. three years ago. Yeah, we literally, yeah. we got to tell that story. But like, yeah. legitimately, we, I told her, I said, Amber, we're going to film one video a week mm-hmm. consistently for a year. And then the next year we signed up and the next year we signed up. And now it just feels like, I mean, you're not filming them anymore. Andre is helping me with them. But like now it feels like it's just a part of who we are. Like, right. And at first it was really hard. Yeah. We were like, this is really tough to yeah. do. Like to legitimately like not miss a week. I think we missed it like two weeks, two or three weeks out of like three years. Yeah. Like, right now I'm not posting because I just decided to take a break and mm-hmm. go write an album totally different world <laughs> you know it's what you can do as a creative but like yeah and to be honest when we first started posting those videos how many likes were we getting on the music channel not a lot like 20 or like 20 views not even likes 20 views mm-hmm. and what's crazy is i had videos that had had 10,000 views already and stuff like that right like, it's pretty substantial not like tremendous didn't go viral but like sure yeah and i think people expect to and then the next year i was up to maybe getting like 50 Mm-hmm. And to be honest, if we're being honest right now, like if I don't promote a video, we haven't like really put a lot of cash money behind it. And mm-hmm. I'm not like doing covers that are super popular. So like I'm just posting my own content really. Yeah. Uh, you know, if I post a video right now, I might get like 200, 300 views organically. organically. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll promote it and then more people find the channel and subscribe and it's amazing and whatever. Mm-hmm. But a lot of these people that you see have a ton of views are putting ad dollars behind their stuff and so Mm -hmm. i just want to say it's not fair to compare yourself or your business or your craft to somebody else you see online because you Mm -hmm. don't know what they're doing Mm -hmm. and so i've had a lot of people say oh well you get so many views like oh my gosh i suck and you're amazing like basically that's the essence of the conversation Mm -hmm. and i'm like but i have i mean i don't have a huge ad budget for my music but like i'm putting hundreds of dollars Mm -hmm. behind this like couple hundred dollars you know and so behind this one video so yeah for sure it has forty thousand views like some of them have forty thousand views on their own but like right i just want to say you just don't know so like (laughs) don't compare yourself that's all i'm trying to say yes it could be a long road i know people that it took them five years to like finally get an audience that they felt was Mm. of good size for them Mm -hmm. and and 500 videos like yeah i'm on like video 250 but like Mm -hmm. some people have 500 videos and did it for Every week for five years. Yeah. And so, and that's when they made it big. I just want to, you know, encourage some of us out here who are a little like weak and weary mm-hmm. because it can be hard. And yeah. so you just got to keep pushing. You got to remind yourself of the why. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. I lay down my mic. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, even if you're consistent, it doesn't always happen overnight. In fact, it most often doesn't. And yeah. so when you sign up for this, even if... Um, you know, we were taking you on as a client. That's something that we would talk to you about is like, don't expect it to blow up overnight. That's not, we're not, you know, we're not buying you followers. That's like fake. And it could bring you opportunities. But I just also want to say as Mm -hmm. a musician, I never lacked opportunities because Mm -hmm. I didn't have a huge following. Yeah. Like I toured like through the nation. I've been to every state except for two Mm -hmm. doing music. Like Mm -hmm. I've done huge shows. I got to open for Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I've done small shows where there's right. two people at the coffee shop. Like, <laughs> I've been flown out to the Caribbean to do music. Yeah. I've gotten to do music in Africa. Like, it doesn't say... Just because you're not famous on the internet mm-hmm. doesn't mean that you won't end up doing great things. No, so, it's true. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say that. I want to lay it there. Even though being famous <laughs> on the internet helps you yeah, to do sure. great things. That's not the only way to do great mm-hmm. things. No, it's yeah. true. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I'm passionate about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so it's good because people need to know, yeah, like you will find different opportunities through different things, not always through your social media. Yeah. You know, sometimes yeah. it just takes in-person mar- uh, 
not marketing. What's it called? Networking. Marketing and networking. Yeah, and- networking. And sometimes it just takes talking to people and getting to know people in your industry. Yeah, and that's like true. if you've got you know all this clout on social media, but you don't know how to talk to people, like. Or, like, you never, you know, meet the people that run a festival. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're a musician, right? Like, I would meet the people that ran festivals and mm-hmm. end up on the bill, you know? Yeah. South by Southwest, different things like that. Mm-hmm. I met the promoter, and they were like, yo, we really like you. You're just, like, really cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, as a human. Like, yeah. Not even- so don't take that side of it for granted because, like, that is equally, if not more important than your social media, for yeah, sure. I would say it's pretty equal. I mean, social right. media is important. Like, that's why we're in the industry, mm-hmm. right, of, like, marketing. Definitely. Yeah. 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 So what other tips? Like if somebody is like, it's not growing. I mean, we give them consistency, Mm -hmm. know the networks you're on, Mm -hmm. choose the right networks. Definitely. Content, right? Consistency. Yeah. And like different content. content. Yeah. And having a variety of content. Um, So on that note of having a variety of content, I would like to encourage all the creatives out there, no matter what industry you're in. You. And you. Off your cameras. (laughs) And you. And you. Sorry. (laughs) Um, For those listening, you have no idea what just happened. (laughs) Yeah, I know. Sorry. We're just looking at the camera singing you. Okay. Um, But anyways, so I would say no matter what industry you're in, that it wouldn't hurt to have some custom-made graphics. And so um, that sounds... What are you talking about? That sounds really interesting and complicated. And like, do I have to pay somebody to do that? Like, what does that even Mm -hmm. mean? Mm -hmm. Guys, it's not hard. There's this thing called Canva. (laughs) <laughs> we've yeah. been using canva here at help she let out my whole secret it i mean i am a graphic designer but canva yeah. can save you a well time. if you, yeah, you want to go something. design everything by hand in photoshop like from the like from which i starting have done with a blank before canvas, canva became a yeah thing. so like, i keep more power cameras. to you but listen we make a lot of graphics on a week on an average week like a lot like i just sat out sat down and wrote or not wrote created 12 graphics yesterday like in just you know a very short of like, amount of what, time like 30 minutes yeah i'm not yeah. really sure exactly but not Hour. not too long but like incredible graphics yeah they have great templates and things you can use and yeah. canva's not the only thing like there's other right things for there's sure. definitely other things out there but yeah. i'm just saying if you want to be someone in your uh in your industry that stands out you know like things like having your own custom graphics with your branding so mm-hmm. branding is a whole nother topic, but we've done videos on it. So look on our YouTube yes, channel. We can even link ton. one below because yeah. we have one that came out recently about how to get your branding going. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if you just have your own custom graphics, it just makes you put look so put together, makes you look so professional and it draws people's attention to you. We've gotten clients because they looked at our branding. We just recently signed with a co- client that looked at our branding on our social media and was like, this is dope. Like, yeah. I want you to do this for my social media. Which I media. was like, really? You think so? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's been such a journey for us. Yeah. Like, it really has. Figuring out what works for mm-hmm. us. And deleting and it might be a so many posts that we made and didn't like. Like, if the marketing company is going through a journey mm-hmm. trying to figure out what works for us. Because, like, here's the thing. We branded ourselves the first time. Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, I bought Helps too. I was already branded I was like, it's cool. It's all right. That's but like true. for what I see us doing in the future, it wasn't su- going to be suitable. Mm-hmm. And so we did something else and we took a gamble with it. And I was like, this is still not it. Like, yeah. And that's just how it happens sometimes. Some people hit it on the head or right. the nail on the head right away. First time, yeah. And that's awesome. But we surely did not. No, we've been on a journey. And we didn't delete those posts. So if you go down our Instagram feed, you, you can, can see, see the old branding we versus the new. I <laughs> but, love the new branding though. Yeah. The new branding is much more us. But, you know, yesterday I just found um, you had sitting out those old like postcards from Helps 2. And I literally started laughing. Don't do me like that. And she was like, what's wrong? I was like, it looks like Halloween. Because, guys, our old colors were black, orange, and purple. I was like, that's literally the colors of Halloween. First of all, I didn't choose those colors. That's okay. I'm not saying you I don't know who chose those colors. Not a personal attack, but I was just laughing because I was like. I made those cards. Yeah. Personal attack. You know, okay. Literally, I woke up and she picked up the cards and I heard her cackling, not just laughing. (laughs) They were... In the front room, I said, hey, uh, what's happening in there? Oh, these cards, man. Looks like Halloween. <laughs> well, Just, you know, you're trying, no to, you're kind trying of respect. to be fresh and young and exciting as a marketing company. And you look like Oh, Halloween. I put them out there because I was like, should I throw them away or should we like pass them out? And, and I said, throw them away. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, I don't like to waste them. I paid money for those cards. But like, well, if we'll they're not. We'll make new ones. Yeah. Well, I know In we fact, need to make new ones. we've got new ones coming. So <laughs> I know. And they're beautiful. I just yeah. feel like. New branding. Let's go. Because our company is really trying to reach creatives. Like mm-hmm. we are creatives and we love creatives. We want to mm-hmm. help creatives grow and reach others like we have been privileged to yeah so we we felt like creatives are drawn to like 
most of us are like drawn to youthfulness, like mm -hmm. bright colors, um, bright colors, yeah. um, many colors. <laughs> yeah, we have like six colors in our palette. in our palette, which is rare. Yeah. But we just went for it. We said it might we look did. crazy, but here we are. Yeah, and just eclectic kind of stuff. And so our color palette is very eclectic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like rich colors that mm -hmm. are really youthful. And yeah, I agree. So you know, if you're, uh, if you're in your industry trying to uh figure out like what even type of graphics should i post right so just think about like what you're doing so like you're a musician like find quotes for musicians and create you know a quote or put your song lyrics if you've written songs on a on a graphic and make mm -hmm. it shareable and people really are interested in that stuff they really like it because yeah, it just fair. gives variety you're not posting the same type of stuff every day and it's like it can be really inspiring and exciting so you know just think of quotes that you like I personally have a list that I went on Pinterest one time and just like looked up quotes for creatives and like she's just a unicorn. I don't typed know out all the quotes and like now I can just pull from them every time I'm making graphics. So it makes my job so easy yeah, when it's time great. to make graphics. I also I have do that them. with pictures. Yeah. So I take one picture a day mm -hmm. like to really like because, you know, I'm doing this. I think that's what's hard for some people is like. They want to get to a place to where they feel like they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Like I, I know a lot of musicians who feel like they're not doing it on the daily. Um, so I would encourage those people. Like I get to take a picture. Like today right now I took a picture of us at the podcast, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to probably post it like later on in the week or something. And then, you know, the other day I was writing a song. I would just say go do it. Like – do whatever you do and yeah. take a picture or have someone take a picture. Do self-timer. Yeah. Whatever. Keep figure it out simple. Your thing. Yeah. 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 Keep it simple. Yeah. Don't take overthink pictures. it. Don't hesitate to jump Videos. in because you don't like know if it's good enough yet. Just jump in. And have fun. It yeah. doesn't have to be so planned either. Like yeah. just have, it's social media. Exactly. Like, it would be nice if you it's know. It's not your portfolio. It's not like <laughs> you in a dark room. Like get right. some lighting. You know what I mean? But yeah, like. Yeah. True. It doesn't yeah. have to be super planned and posh all the time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, one last tip. You got anything else before we um, wrap it up here? One last tip. I would say um, don't neglect hashtags and SEO. Ooh. So SEO. Yeah. <laughs> SEO, search engine optimization. Yeah. You looked at me like you're going to get it wrong. I didn't know the O. I was like, I know it's search optimization. engine yeah. optimization. Yeah. I almost drooled when I said that. That's weird. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's true, especially for things like YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Like the search engine sites, like Pinterest, Definitely. YouTube. Definitely. Um, so you notice sellers. like, you know, I think most people who are really doing their social media consistently will have like, if it's Instagram, for example, you know, a comment. On, their first comment on their post is a bunch of hashtags that would attract people to their content. That's me. That's true. And, uh, you know, a lot of other people are doing it too because it really works. People mm -hmm. are drawn in. They find your hashtag. They found you through hashtag Christian music because that's, you know, what you're posting. And yeah. now they found a new artist that they love and they follow you. Yeah. And so, you know, don't neglect those things. They're not like just because algorithms have changed doesn't mean they're out of date. They're still applicable. They're still right. a thing. We get tons of comments and followers on our um, Instagram right now because we're using hashtag podcast. So a lot of people who are podcasters podcast is like are hot finding right now. us. Yeah. yeah. So true. Yeah. And so, you know, we're just getting a lot of traction from that. And I think, you know, just definitely don't neglect that. If you're on YouTube, go scroll all the way down and even click load more or whatever the tab is and keep scrolling because it's not like right up at the top of the page but if you keep scrolling all the way down to youtube there's a section for tags mm. i there's like a 500 character limit on there i max out the limit like go all the way to 500 right. characters it. because you want people to be able to find your videos and you know? use tools and i've yet to really take you down this avenue we will go down this avenue i use youtube buddy mm -hmm. on youtube to actually see what people are searching for yeah because that's what SEO is all about, like not going after keywords that are too big. And I mean, this could be a whole nother video. Like there's like schools that teach SEO. So I'm not going to be able <laughs> to give you an SEO lesson in like 30 seconds. But like the the majority of what SEO is, and someone could totally nail me to the wall for this because it's not the fullness of it. But like when it comes to things like YouTube is people are out here searching for things. YouTube, Google. Now when you search on Google, it brings up YouTube videos too. True. And so – when they're searching, there are keywords that people search for all the time. Mm -hmm. Highly searched. Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Like, that is a highly, like, that's a hot keyword. Like, um, there's a lot of keywords that people search for all the time. But there's keywords um, also that people don't ever really search for. But then there's the ones that are in the middle. Like, mm -hmm. 12,000 people search for this keyword. So, I say, like, a high-level one would be, like, um, 
12 million people, a million people, 100,000 people. I don't even shoot for stuff like that. Like, But if you shot for one that's ranking 25,000, 12,000, even 1,200, mm-hmm. a lot of people aren't really going for those keywords because or using those keywords because they're not like really huge. And yeah. that's 1,200 possible people right. in a month that might come that to your video your, or content. Your video will come up sooner because it's not under such a huge So in six months, 1,200 search. people, it, let's say they all come to your video, which mm-hmm. is probably not likely, but like a good majority come to your video. Sure. Let's just say 1,000 people mm-hmm. every month because you use this one keyword that you found on YouTube, buddy, or one phrase um, that gets 1,200 searches a month. Yeah. You know, Let's just say you use it. And then six months later, you have 6,000 views on YouTube. Boom. There you go. And that's how it works. You know, yeah. it doesn't work exactly to that. You know, it's not like such a scientific or like equational thing. Right. It happens the way it happens. But like, that's really the thought process behind yeah, SEO. Definitely. And how it works. And so, yeah, it works for YouTube and yeah. different sites. Not Instagram, but that's why they have hashtags. Hashtags. Yeah. I but think that same concept Everything has hashtags, hashtags now in terms of social media. I think even... Pinterest has hashtags now. Facebook Probably, does. Yeah. Twitter does. So, like, don't neglect those things. Yeah, because absolutely. Because you don't know who's going to find you. People search with hashtags, you. too. Yeah. Just like they search with keywords. Exactly. Yeah. People follow hashtags. They like, do. you can yeah. follow hashtags now. So. I follow uh, creatives on Instagram. Yeah. Black creatives, too. Right. So, you Church know. Church girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hashtag, I don't know why I right. follow that. It's just a random, but <laughs> nice. I like it. Yeah. But, yeah, so you just, you don't know what's going to happen by doing it. So why not, you know, just throw I a couple it's comments. It's I just, mean, hashtags it in your comments. It just gives you more of an avenue to be found. And mm-hmm. I think that's really what it's about, like, yeah. to be found so that people can find out what you're doing, right? You don't just, like, do things to not ever let it be discovered. Right. Like, that's you true. want it to be seen right. or heard or mm-hmm. found or used. So Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my that's tips. Cool. Yeah. That's how you can make your social media grow if you and realize. And be social. Yeah. The so Instagram in particular, last thing I swear, and this is long winded, <laughs> but like Instagram in particular favors accounts that are engaging with other accounts, especially through di- direct message. It's not yeah. just comments anymore. They yeah. want you to be yeah. DMing people and like those people replying to you or liking your um, message. You know, just send people messages. Right. Yeah. So I think that's just so important. I mean, I remember I was in Gre- Greece, Green Greece. I was in Greece. And I was just on Instagram all the time. I don't know why. I just had a lot of free time while I was there because we were like Vacation. laying on the beach. Yeah. And, like, and so I was on Instagram and I don't ever get to do that. And my engagement went through the roof when yeah. I was in, Insta- or in Greece, not in Instagram. But yeah, so I just want to encourage people. That's how it works. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. I mean, we could go on probably all night. We could. I, this yeah. is what we do. So. I was like, and you can advertise. I can do all these things. Oh my gosh. Like, There's so, so many fun. things. Like, it's so fun. Do live videos. <laughs> yes. So yeah, maybe part two. We'll do a part two here um, sometime soon. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, y'all, we've enjoyed you. This is the Creative Conversation. I'm Gabby and you are? Amber. <laughs> And make sure you follow us. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. We want to get to know you. Let us know in the comments like what you're doing currently on social media, what's working for you. And if you're on the podcast app, please go follow us on social media. Helps to media, and that's H E L P S number two media on all networks, I believe. Yeah. So come follow us and let's be friends. And we'll see y'all in the next podcast. Peace out. Bye.